Hi oh, guys. Well, <laughs> good lord, it is another cold, gray, gloomy winter day. It is the last day of winter and the first day of spring here in the great state of Texas here on Monday, March 20th, 2023, where it is, I think, I think it's six degrees warmer today in uh, the great state of Texas than it is in New York, baby. But of course, the sun is shining in New York, so I can't think of a better gloomy day to do this. And guys, I'm going to make this a short rant because I've already had this rant, uh, I, I don't know how many times, but I, I just cannot resist having one more of these rapidly closing window of opportunity rants as we have another, what is it? Is it stark? Is it grim or is it dire? Uh, one more time, we have the newest UN stark, grim, and dire report. There is no way that uh, they can talk about a UN climate report without using the word stark, grim, or dire. Now, because I am a doomer and the Yahoo News bots have figured this out, I guess the number one story on the planet on this Monday morning, first day of spring, humanity is on thin ice. Major UN report says urgent action is needed to combat climate change. And I'm thinking, please get through this story without mentioning the word closing window of opportunity. So I'm just looking at, you know, like the 42 point bold uh, little introductions to each little chapter out of this. So we have hurtling down the road to ruin. Yes, I love this, how environmental groups were quick to praise the report's findings. Environmentalists are praising the report's findings that we are hurtling down the road to ruin. Yes, so uh, then they go through, so I'm just touching this, and I do not believe it. We have it. <clears throat> not just in the body of the story, a closing window of opportunity. Yes. So then, of course, there's about 500 of these stories, and uh, <clears throat> here we have the world on thin ice as UN climate report gives stark warning. This is a P. Uh, humanity still has a chance close to the last to prevent the worst of climate change's future harms. Yes, but I knew if I just kept scrolling through, it would happen. And here it is on the hill. UN warns of, quote, rapidly closing window to avert global warming. Yes, we uh, have that rapidly closing window. So, uh, when was it? Uh, last time I had this rant, when did, how long have we been hearing this unadulterated horseshit about this rapidly closing window? Uh, was it 1989 was, was the first time the mainstream media being the mouthpiece for the UN trotted out this tired cliche? about the rapidly closing window, I think was 34 years ago. And, <laughs> oh God, you know, I would really, 
What I was thinking reading all of these, I would love, because I, I know I've been reading the, this identical headline and opening sentence at least since I started up my uh, YouTube career when 15 years ago. Uh, I would like to not just rapidly closing window of opportunity, but I would absolutely love, uh, although I'm never going to do this, you know, to go back, read the headlines, read the first sentence of these <coughs> broken record. D does anybody think at this point that all of the, the these goddamn headlines from the mainstream media parroting uh, the United Nations and the high, and the IPCC uh, is going to make one iota of difference to anybody on this planet. Not one thing has changed. Well, one thing has changed is, is that this rapidly uh, closing window uh, was slammed shut probably, I don't know, 20, at least 20 years ago. Uh, but I love this one, you know, you can go on and on, you know, we're talking about how the report mentions tipping points of species extinction, including coral reefs, irreversible melting of ice sheets, sea level rise on the order of several meters, on and on and on, and then, of course, uh, what they're trying to do is, is take all of this doomer porn that we have been reading for how many years and talk about the, the, uh, the, the, uh, uh this one here. Uh, this is one of the report's co-authors, water scientist Aditi Mukherjee, quote, we are not all on the right track, but it is not too late. Our intention in this latest uh, volume of Doomer Porn, our intention is really a message of her, uh, is really a message of her, uh, is really a message of her, uh, a message of her, uh, a message of her. Uh, and not that of doomsday. Yes, but uh, what was my buddy Elliot Jacobson? This is one year ago. One year ago, uh, Elliot in his blog, Watching the World Go By, BYE, instead of the rapidly closing window of opportunity, the steel door of doom is welded shut. <laughs> when uh, Elliot was talking about how one of my rants uh, about the, this unadulterated horseshit closing window of opportunity set him off on his own rant, about the steel door of doom it is welded shut, but enough of this crap. Uh, <laughs> how many more years, how many more years, guys, are we going to be reading this closing, when this rapidly closing window of opportunity? Can we make it 50 years? We're 34 years into the rapidly closing window of opportunity, but uh, if that's not enough doomer porn for you, I just can't, I just can't help myself. We're going to head over for our main chronicle of the collapse to the godfather of doomer porn himself, the Larry Flint of the Doomosphere, Umer Hack, and his latest uh, coming at you in just one minute. My guys.